Hi all, welcome to this stream lead session. In this particular session, we will see how can we integrate matplotlib with stream lead. So sometimes we can uh, plot something in matplotlib and even we can show that things in stream lead. That is really, really easy in stream lead. So let's see how can we do this in matplotlib. See here, I'm just uh, importing streamlit. So import streamlit as st. Then I'm importing pandas because I want to read a data. And now I'm importing matplotlib here. So I'm reading one data here. You can see in the same directory, I have one data that is data1.csv. So I'm reading pd.read underscore csv data1.csv. So basically in, using this command, I'm able to read that data. See, in streamlit, we have a different different technique to show the data. But uh, for this particular session, I am using st.write to show the, this data. In coming section, I will go for one session where I will discuss how can show uh, the data in a different way. But for this particular session, I am using st.write data. Uh, basically, this is the data.head for uh, only uh, show the head part, means only five data. So just let write, uh, let's run only for this commands uh, to show data first. So how can we do this? Let me show. Uh, whenever you want to run a, a, a py file in the streamlit, so you can use streamlit and, uh, space run and then give your py file. So here this file name is matplotlib underscore streamlit.py. So I'm giving matplotlib underscore streamlit.py. Let me hit this. And see, I'm able to run this. Here just let me show you. So just save it. And now we can rerun this so here you can see i have this data so in this data i have week prod a prod b prod c so this is basically week numbers week 1 2 3 4 5 this is product product a product b and product c this number is basically sales so in week 1 i have 33 of product a sales 34 is product b sales 21 is product c sales so in different different week we have the sales data okay now what I'm trying to do, I'm taking one variable that is x and I'm taking only week in this day, this particular x and I'm taking y for you know prod a. So even if you want to show this, you can show like this st dot write x and let me show y also. So you can just write st dot write y as well. Now let me save this. Check it here. You can see this is x so week and this is y prod a. Now I want to make a line, simple graph between x and y. I want to make a very simple graph in, in matplotlib. So see what I'm trying to do. I'm just, I already imported matplotlib. I'm making this subplot. I'm making x dot plot x y in matplotlib very simple plot. This plt dot plot x comma y. So I want to play a plot basically between week and prod a we even can go for prod b prod c product so i'm right now plotting between week and product a then i'm making x labels i'm writing x label you know whenever you even let's let's uh, uh, labels means we uh, in x label we are giving week and in y label i'm giving prod a product a now let me uh, connect this uh, plot with matplotlib. Sorry, this matplotlib plot with uh, um, streamlit plot. So, how can we do this in the streamlit? It's called py plot. So, I'm writing st.py plot. Even in matplotlib is py plot. So I'm giving st.py plot and just give this figure. So, if you give this, automatically it will uh, that particular matplotlib plot so into streamlit. So, let me save it. Now, let's check it. See this here. I have this data, then x and then y, and this is the plot. Here you can see x label is weak, so we already given in matplotlib. See this plt dot x label, plt dot y label, so y label in prod a, and this is the plot between your weak and product a. So we are doing this plot in matplotlib, but we are able to integrate with streamlit. So sometimes what happens, you are making some creating a dashboard and we don't we want to plot something in matplotlib. So you can plot into matplotlib and then you integrate that plot into streamlit. That is really really easy and that is really important also. So and I believe you guys are able to understand how this is happening. This is very very simple. It's, it's a super simple. So, uh, in coming uh, uh, sessions, we'll discuss more about this. Uh, how can we do all these things in Streamlit? So, thank you so much. Thank you for watching this.